everybody, my name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine where I share with you my passion for growing cactus and other desert plants in a desert environment over a cup of coffee. It is time to make an update on my desert gardens or my cactus gardens. So if you are new to this channel, I live in Las Vegas, Nevada and I am in my backyard right now. I have three sections of my garden or my backyard that I turned into a cactus garden. So back there behind that grill is the first section where I started planting cactus in the ground. And then the second one that I have or I made is this section last. I made this two years ago, not last year. I made this two years ago and then when this was successful last year um october i think or fall of last year i decided to make another section of my garden into a cactus garden and actually just recently i extended this up to that part right there but i will discuss that later on it is 5 o'clock p.m. right now but as you can see this section is just starting to get some shade as well as that section but most of it is still under the sun while the other one back there is still under full sun so that section there is the hottest part in my backyard so for now during summer i have a 50 percent shade cloth on top of them because despite the plants here being cacti the desert sun is still too much for them because the sun plus the dry heat it uh, just scorches them so i have to give them extra shade just to make them you know look better and not scorch under the heat so this is the section i made last year so let us look at them closely so this one this is a cylindro puntia when i planted this one it is just half the size of that so it is growing very fast <laughs> it is actually a tree a tree cactus so in time i'm expecting to have a tree cactus in this section and this is doing okay and then i have an agave victoria regini in here and this is a baby santarita but if you plant it in the ground the baby santarita actually grows big <laughs> oh and then back in there i hope you can see it but i planted some mammillaria bocasana seedlings in there so those are the seedlings that I sowed from seeds but I think I planted them too late when I planted them there that's when the heat wave started here and they actually they're not dead because I tried pulling them out they are deeply rooted but somehow you know how some cactus retracts deep in the ground when it is too hot so that is their way of protecting themselves and that's what happened so now i am thinking maybe that is not a good spot for these cacti so i am thinking of maybe removing them and replacing them with something else but we will see but the rest are doing very well actually in this section especially this trichocereus right here they're just loving the sun and the heat that mexican fence post this is a new growth but look it's almost as tall as the two original poles that i planted in there this is the ferro cactus glossosens it has grown a lot i was surprised and then those two mammillarias back there they i thought they were not gonna make it but this spring and summer they ballooned <laughs> it was like a balloon that inflated so i think now they're getting used to their position right there this opuntia i don't know the name of this but when i planted that one it was just two pads and it just grew so many pads in there although this one right here something fell on top of this and it partially 
broke some of the pads broke off but that's why it's looking like that <laughs> so i will see i might have to remove this since that one is already growing big and then i have a few pots that i stuck in here because these guys need a lot of sunlight these are teddy bear choyas and this is a cylindropuntia imbricata that uh, bamboo tom tom if you're watching this is the one that you gave me so it likes a lot of sunlight so i place them in this section and then i actually decided to extend this garden to the left side in here there used to be two rosemary bushes that were growing in here but i decided to remove them and instead i placed my trichocereus here in the pots in this section at first i was thinking of planting them in the ground but then again i had these nice pots that i wanted to use so i decided why not just put my trichocereus all in nice pots and put them in here except for that one that is a echinopsis bacanoi <laughs> so anyway for now this will be my pottery section of my trichocereus moving on to another desert garden that i have so as you can see they're all actually sun stressed as of now so some of them are wrinkled because of the heat but at least they are alive <laughs> and then this is the uh, echinopsis candy cans this is the one that produced the giant the biggest flowers that i've had here in my collection and i have uh this is the claret cup cactus that produces very beautiful bright orange flowers this is an agave ferdinand de regis agave that i am protecting with additional shade cloth because when it gets very hot like over 105 degrees fahrenheit somehow it shows some yellow burning on the edges of the leaves so i don't want it to have burn marks so i put extra protection on it whenever our day is very hot and sunny this is my opuntia centerita the big one however when we had um, our palm tree trimmed in here i think uh, one of the men uh, accidentally broke off a pad because i found the pad on the floor and i think they stepped on it or something so i wasn't able to save the pad so i used to have it higher but then that big pad broke off but it's okay it's still alive and what else do i have in here so more opuntia this is a pencil choya this is a totem pole cactus and more opuntias back there i have another agave oh speaking of that agave i just found something out the other day in here so that is an artichoke agave and when i planted that i know it is going to produce runners so that's how it makes babies so it produces runners and produces babies away from the mother plant when i planted that i made sure i took out all the runners that i could find underneath it before i planted it in the ground hoping to buy some more time before i have to deal with the runners and yes it bought me time two years two years before i found the very first pop and the pop showed up in here <laughs> you guys see this so this is the first runner of that agave that i found and the mother plant is way over there so i need your guys opinion so here is the pop that grew far from the mother plant so what do you think guys should i let it grow or remove it there 
could be enough space in there for it to grow but i don't know i am pretty sure this is a pop of that artichoke agave and not of this ferdinand Regis agave because the tips look like the leaves of the artichoke agave now for the last part of my garden this is the very first desert garden that i did maybe six or seven years ago so as you can see the roses are looking their worst at this time of the year <laughs> and then this is a blue glow agave which i planted here under full sun so it turned green instead of blue it was never blue in this section and every year it becomes like this during the summer it looks so sad and burned but then it recovers so i am leaving it there it's been there for like six years now and um, i have my very big ficus indica in here which i try to trim every now and then and i cook the pads yes they are the dishes <laughs> and um but somehow they still put out a lot of growth during the summer and then let me take you around this grill here and look at the other side so I made a video when I did the clean up of this section late in the winter time but right now it looks like it needs another round of pruning and then this I don't know what the name of this cactus is but in there I have a ferro cactus lattice penis this is the front section of this garden but let me take you to the back this is the newest part or newest section i made a video when i did this part of the garden if you haven't seen that i'll put a link up on the screen in here are the toughest plants that i have <laughs> because this section gets the most sun or it gets the sun at the hottest part of the day which is late in the afternoon i planted a lot of trichosaurus in this area there is one in here and i let this asparagus fern actually grow on top of it to provide it some shade as you can see there is some scorching in there so i did not trim this that provides a little bit of protection and then okay this is another trichocereus with a white flower another trichocereus so the trichocereus are not minding the heat at all this is an apuntia which is the same as the big apuntia that you saw in this side the apuntia ficus indica so when this grows i am planning to remove one of the Opuntia here in front. This one is a um, peanut cactus, which I was surprised how big it grew when I planted it in the ground. <laughs> so it must be some kind of a hybrid, I don't know. But yeah, it grew so fat. And then this is the false Ocotillo. I will flash the name of this on the screen. I have there a barrel that is the Echinocereus grossonii but the white spined version. And more Opuntia. That is an orange Trichocereus. And then an Opuntia again there. In this section right here, I have my variegated Ferdinandi Regis agave which unfortunately you know how it is during change of seasons the sun also shifts you know where it shines and the sun shifted and it shined on this section here I was hoping that this tree will provide it some shade but when the sun moved or shifted it actually burned some of the leaves at the back so you see there there's some um, leaves that burned on the back there so in the meantime i just place this shade cloth on top of it at least during 
this summer. This is how it looks like from the other side. Alright, so not much a lot of growth from these plants here because they are stressed this summer. But at least they are surviving and hopefully I chose the right plants in this corner of my garden. This winter will be their first winter so we will see how they will take the cold winter here in the desert all right so i think i will wrap up my video in here and thank you guys for joining me today and if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe if you like cactus and other desert plants and i'll talk to you again next time bye everyone and cheers Bye.